Hi there, this is Murray Elaine and I have some, um, I was going to say words of wisdom for you. It's a little presumptuous, isn't it? <laughs> Who do I think I am to share words of wisdom with you? But actually, that's, that's a good starting point for this week. You know, it's about self-worth and feeling, feeling that you are worthy and that what you do have to say um, is worth listening to because too often we put ourselves down and think, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not this enough, you know, who wants to listen to me? And I must admit, I have been feeling a little bit of that lately. I'm thinking, why? Why would you feel like your words are not worth putting out there to the wider community? And I know only those who are watching this will be guided this way. So, okay, so I'm not going to delete. I'm going to continue on with this, this video because in the past I probably would have said, no, nope, let's start again. Let's do it. So, okay, yesterday, no, backtrack to Friday, I was lucky enough to have a session with Marie Batchelor. Marie I discovered on YouTube. She's a, um, a former GP who now helps with spiritual coaching and healing, galactic healing. And oh my God, I just love my sessions with Marie. She's, she actually helps me see more than what I can physically see. Oh, hear <laughs> that? Yeah, and it was really quite enlightening and empowering. And it's got me to focus on who we really are. Why are we here on planet Earth? But not so much why, what our purpose is, but who are we? And I know that we are beautiful light beings that have come forth into this physical, dense reality for the experience. And, you know, and I think our purpose is now to remember who we are, what we are, and more so what we are capable of. So this week on Marie, she did some activations for me. And when she took me to the heart... I had this vision of, um, and she mentioned the word portal, and all of a sudden I could see like this mini universe where the heart sits, and I thought, oh my goodness, that is where we allow things to come in and out in, of our existence, through our heart, through how we're feeling and how we are actually loving, and what we will allow physically into our experience. So what I'd like to guide you this week, wherever you possibly can, to stop and just remember, if you're listening to this, about the power of our heart, and not just for the physical love, but what we can transmit and allow into our actual reality. So, and I'm going to let the universe guide me to a couple of cards. It could be three, it could be two, it could be one. I'll just let's, let the inspiration flow to see what sort of guidance we can actually um, give ourselves in the coming week. So and I'm calling upon the Wisdom of Avalon cards today. And the first card we've been gifted is, <laughs> here we go, <laughs> our perfect perception. Absolutely, everything we see, everything we respond to, everything that we, we are inspired to do is a perception of some form. You know, um, just another little bit of a story here. I was walking Bonnie this morning and my thoughts drifted to work and of course it dipped and I was starting to, you know, create scenarios in my head about an outcome and it wasn't a good one and I stopped and I thought, I thought of my heart straight away and I thought, no, this is my reality. I'm going to let that thought dissipate and I'm going to create what I want. So absolutely. Perception is everything. Should get a t-shirt made. <laughs> there we go. So take that into your week with you. So the next card I have here is the owl. Oh, this is a good one too. Deception, wisdom. And I think our our gift is to see the difference between the two. What is real and what isn't? What reality have we created? And is it going to serve us? serve a purpose and being wise enough, have that wisdom to actually see if we're being self-fooled by, um, by thoughts that could actually manifest into our reality, which we really don't want to create. So this week, we, we have the perception and the wisdom to see the deception that we are creating. Oh, 
I like it. <laughs> okay, let's see what the third card has to say. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Absolutely, the spider. Creative projects. So, here we go. Instead of lamenting about all the the worrisome and you know fear-based scenarios that we can create, channel that energy into some sort of creative element. Um, and it could be whatever you desire. As you can see behind me, I like to paint, so I'm definitely going to be working on some creative art projects this week. But it could be poetry, it could be writing song, it could be verse, it could be you know picking up and learning a, a simple musical instrument. Just be creative, whatever it means to you. It might even be just planting a, a little patch in your garden, creating a fairy garden. You know, just. Just put it out there to the universe that you, you're opening up to your creativity and allowing source energy to speak through you through your actions. Okay, that's our message for this week and I just happened to notice the time on the recorder and it was 557 so I'm going to include another angel message to see how that all ties in with what I've just shared with you. So thank you very much for, for listening. If you've made it to the end, I really appreciate it. I'm actually, um, we're nearing the end of the 21 days for May and it's been quite, well I've enjoyed it. Um, I haven't been as diligent as one could be but that's okay. I had a thought as well, you know, it's not what you do, it's how you feel about what you're doing. So that's the most important thing. Okay, I'll sign off for now, I'll speak to you next week. Thank you so much for listening and um, my love to you. Bye.